I'm in the Alps, one of the great mountain range systems in Europe. A habitat for a large variety of wildlife. I'm looking here for Shenwa, the animals which live on the rocks. During my hike, I realized unexpectedly I'm standing between them. On the edge of a clearing, I spot two Shemwa looking at me. And there is a younger one, which I notice about 80 meters downhill, staring at me and chewing grass. Shemwa has excellent eyesight, so usually they are aware of their proximity, but like any other wild animal, they rather don't enjoy this. So if you want to trick them, it is better to go downhill. The younger one tries to show me its irritation. In such a situation, Shemwa makes a whistle-like sound with its nostrils or stomps its feet. To help the hesitant younger pass me by, the couple make a decision to go away. Last glance at me, and they are on their way to herd. But I don't want to lose them. I'm following these animals up to the highest parts of the mountains, where I find a whole family. At the head of the herd is always the most experienced female, ensuring food and safety. Males, however, not older than three years, left a herd to live solitary for most of the year. They join females only in late autumn during their mating season. Summer months for those calves born in May or June are the very first in their life. Shemwa feed her calf milk up to six months. The animals easily keep balance in a difficult terrain. Longer rear legs allow them for going up the hill and soft elastic soles prevent from slipping from rocks. Running Shemwa can reach a speed of 30 miles per hour, jumping even over a distance of 6 meters and 2 meters height. This herd numbers 15 individuals, but for a short period of time Shemwa may form a herd of up to 100 animals. This ensures their safety. <laughs> 